you know, South Africa, hi, in Christ's name, what's up, is like a teenager movie, like a teenage movie, yeah, a teeny flick or something. It's, it's, a, it's totally like a teeny flick, like I literally cannot believe that I'm living in a country full of grown-ups um, and yet they're all acting like uh, actors, thespians in a teenage flick or like Michael Jackson in the music video thriller starting out a ride and turning out to be quite the beastly monster menacing one at that that is just the bane of the existence of a woman that literally cannot wake up from a nightmare enough times because every time she wakes up there's a thriller thriller night digga digga ding, 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 whatever okay teeny bopper movie why a teeny bopper movie you're wondering well i'm gonna get to the point y'all know i'm about that analogy life you're like a teeny flick south africa because you are easily influenced peer pressure vibes it's just go in your be mama i don't know what else do you smoke um cocaine mana like js fluid whatever okay and you take it up your nostrils devastating your future brying your brain cells all in the spirit of groupthink a woman is languishing literally dying about to breathe her last because South Africa is so busy participating in some kind of a fret, like fret boy group or sorority girl group or teeny bopper, let's all go to the movie together and leave the prudish girl behind. Uh, because she like is unfun and is just boring. You, you like a teeny bopper movie. And you know what? I will give you one in particular that likely a lot of y'all might know, no matter your age. Greece. Yes. Yeah, John Travolta. Go grease lightning, a bit of bada ba ba ba. Grease lightning, go grease lightning. Mm. You guys are like the cast in Greece, and Christians among you, South Africa, despite claiming that you love Jesus, are like Sandra D or Olivia Newton John prior to her giving it all up to John Travolta. Mm? You mock her in a bedroom with a whole bunch of girls giggling and laughing at the virgin girl. And all you can say is, Look at me, I'm Sandra D, a burst in with virginity. I won't go to bed till I'm lawfully waiting to me, I'm Sandra D. You mock Christians like they are the stubborn virgin in the school that is yet to experience what it's like to have sex when everybody else has gone on to have themselves rammed into. You participate in groupthink. I literally cannot believe at the number of people who started out all right with me and then they changed as soon as they noticed that I'm underestimated, persecuted and abused. You are just joining in the mutiny against an innocent woman gathering together as little zombies to follow up around a menacing, vitriolic, mocking female or senang any virtue, any dignity at all. Indeed, mocking a person that ought be given respect, ought be given honor, granted their dignity. It's like it doesn't matter the quality or the content of the character of the human being. All that matters is how many people stand on what side. And since the world hates disciples, you are literally watching me languish and die and are turning a blind eye. Li Hori, hi, there's more where I came from. For real? Wow. How would you like to be so ununique? That's the kind of stuff abortions are made of. That's why abortion is legal in this country. That's why abortion is legal in many nations. People don't recognize a baby as a whole, like, grown, not a grown, sorry, but what is this? A whole thriving soul from within the womb. And so for you to just throw away what you call to be a clump of cells is easy. Until one day you get told to depart from Christ's work of iniquity because you are a murderer, having killed your own baby in your own stomach. Christians are seen as these clumps of cells. I missed you in society and so you can just easily terminate them yet you call yourselves a Christian country this here South Africa is a Christian nation and yet look at me being a clump of tissue inside the belly of a woman that is terminating a pregnancy thank you very much I guess I shall be Sandra D in heaven the tables will turn the least will be first in the kingdom of heaven and the greatest here on earth will be last the tables are going to turn and when they do I'm gonna say I told you so I'm out